Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan, maligayang Pasko and of course happy holidays sa ating lahat. So eto ngayon at pag-uusapan natin ang Ryzen 7 3700X PC Build Guide with different video cards. Dito sa ating video na ito ipapakita ko po ang iba't ibang video card na pwede nyong gamitin or pwede nyong ipartner with Ryzen 7 3700X at a very recommended pricing. So kumbaga, uh, eto yung mga ire-recommend ko dahil Uh, yung price niya, kumbaga yung maging package price niya is uh, hindi siya uh, out of place. Kumbaga, we are not going beyond 100k plus because if you will be going beyond that, you should uh, check the Ryzen 9 3950X or 3900X na lang kung uh, lalampas ka lang din naman ng 100k plus. Kung bababa naman tayo, like a 50k price point, I think uh, the video card will be too low for this Ryzen 7 3700X. So, eto po ngayon ay ipapakita ko ang 70K to 80K plus budget for a Ryzen 7 3700X. Uh, hindi na natin papahabain. I will be straightforward with this video showing you the last PC build of this year 2019 and a recommended build for us for the upcoming year 2020. So ayun, tapusin lang po natin ang ating video dahil may mga pamimigay akong uh, MSI cup and of course an MSI t-shirt. Nandun po sa end ng video ang mga mechanics. So if you have been in this channel for a while, medyo kabisabod mo muna po kung paano manalo. And of course, keep posted din sa ating susunod na video after this video dahil dun ko po i-announce yung mga winner ng last na giveaways natin with a 30k plus budget and that's it mga kaibigan, subscribe para mas marami pa kayong makita mga ganito giveaways, of course tech reviews, unboxings and updates for the coming year 2020 which is very exciting year like 2019 na marami ulit tayong ipapakitang mga bago in terms of technology lalong lalo na sa IT industry Okay, so ang ating PC build guide ganyan is Ryzen 7 3700X. The processor that we use and we use the X570 Gaming Edge as the motherboard. And for the video card, I go for the RTX 2070 Super. And for the chassis, I go for the Deepcool Matrix 70 and a Deepcool Castle 240 for the AIO. So it's like a Deepcool MSI PC build. Maganda yung aesthetics niya kasi... Uh, straight tayo in terms of the brand choice pagdating sa components inside and then naging straight din tayo in terms of dun sa mga uh, very visible na parts like the chassis and AIO. So, ang pangit kasi minsan kung uh, ang gagawin natin is MSI yung board and then gigabyte yung video card or uh, yung gagamitin natin is uh, deep cool yung chassis tapos ang gagamitin natin cooler is uh, Cooler Master. Yes, uh, we all know that there are better components in each brands Pero sometimes if we are trying to consider the aesthetics, mas maganda kung medyo magkapareho naman yung brands. But of course, you should also check kung yung uh, component ba to. Like for example, the Deepcool Castle 240. Kung pangit ng component na yan, then I should better go with the other brands. Like for example, I will go for Corsair. And if I will be going for the Corsair, it's better also if I will be going for the Corsair chassis. Para kahit papaano in terms of dun sa visible na parts, yung aesthetics niya, aesthetics wise, medyo uh, straight naman kumbaga uh, parang hindi naman sa chop suey tingnan performance is a very big deal and it's also the priority but sometimes when we are trying to build aesthetics also should be considered yan po yung mga kaibigan yung pinaka advice ko din unless you are in a budget uh, option then uh, aesthetics is not a priority talaga kung maging chop suey yung build basta yun yung mga pinaka the best uh, specs that you may have at that kind of budget then you should have it Pero for a 70k to 80k plus, that is not anymore a budget build. That is already a build na medyo naglabas uh, ka na rin ng malaking halaga. Okay, so ayun, na-build na natin yung uh, unit uh, in terms of hardware. Proceed na kayo agad tayo dun sa mismong benchmarks. Because benchmark won't lie, mga kaibigan. Dito ipapakita ko sa inyo the gaming side. In terms of gaming, RTX 2070 Super is close. I included the RTX 2080 Super with this video as part of the comparison para kung sakasakali man na medyo kayang-kaya ng budget mo, then you may have the RTX 2080 Super. The RTX 2080 Ti is not anymore included kasi kung kaya mo palang gumastos ng RTX 2080 Ti ni video card, then uh, nag-proceed ka na lang sana for our Ryzen 9 3900X or 
3950X. Pero hindi ko rin sinasabi na hindi siya pwede for the Ryzen 7 3700X. It's just that balance of components. So the best or recommended na pinakamataas na maging video card mo kung Ryzen 7 3700X is RTX 2080 Super kung ang pera is hindi naman problema or wala namang concern in terms of budget. So I also included in the comparison yung RX 5700XT because this is the least video card that you may have. Kasi kung ganun lang din naman ang mangyayari, then itry mo na lang ibaba yung processor mo and stick with an RX 5700XT. Like for example, uh, kulang na sa budget, kaya mag uh, RTX 2060 na ako or RX 5700. Uh, it's still good for the Ryzen 7 3700X. Pero that is if in uh, case na ang concern ng customer is I will just be having this unit for video editing or for multitasking, then well, okay lang. Pero kung both gaming or on both worlds, gaming, editing, rendering, streaming, I think 5700XT is the least video card that you should partner with Ryzen 7 3700X. So on the benchmark, you may check it closely na in terms of pricing, Medyo close lang yung difference. The RX 5700XT is 5K lower than the RTX 2070 Super. And in terms of benchmarks, ayun, sobrang lapit lang din ng kanilang difference in terms of FPS. 1440p po yung mga kaibigan. And also, I have indicated in there if uh, DirectX 12 enabled na po yung game. And then, uh, for the RTX 2080 Super naman, medyo nasa 13K plus ang difference ng... Uh, RTX 2080 Super at saka RTX 2070 Super. And yet, yung uh, FPS difference is mas malaki compared dun sa RX 5700 XT difference. Pero, ang laki ng difference nung pricing. Kaya, I may just consider or I may just recommend that you should go for the RTX 2080 Super if money is not a concern. That is the highest video card that you may have. Pero kung sakasakali mang kaya mo pang magdagdag ng konte, then you should go or proceed with the Ryzen 3900X, Ryzen 9 ka na lang. Anyway, gaming alone is not the basis in terms of choosing what is the best video card that you may partner with the Ryzen 7 3700X. Of course, we should also consider those architects or those guys who use uh, 3D rendering software. So I did a benchmark with Blender, GPU, uh, benchmark or GPU rendering ang ginamit po natin and here we found out that the RTX 2070 Super is way ahead compared to the RX 5700 XT. So I think on this case or on this scenario na the RTX 2070 Super is the go-to video card kung ikaw po ay architect or nag 3 d rendering like you are using softwares like Lumion, V-Ray, Blender, yan, Lumion, it's a very GPU bound uh, software like uh, other games or like most of the games. So I think if you will be going for uh, those kind of setup na isakang ingeniero, isakang architect, RTX 2070 Super is the clear winner in here. Okay, so let's proceed on the video editing side. Of course, at the video editing side, there's no huge difference aside from the processor is doing almost all of the job. So nakikita natin dito mga kaibigan na if you are a gamer and a video editor, then RX 5700XT is fine. If you are a gamer alone and you don't have any problem in terms of money, then you could go with the RTX 2080 Super. If you are an architect, at the same time a gamer, at the same time a video editor, at the same time a streamer, I think the sweetest spot of Ryzen 7 3700X is RTX 2070 Super at an 80K plus budget. Kasi kung titinan din natin yung difference mga kaibigan, 70K plus RX 5700XT, 80K plus RTX 2070 Super, almost 100K RTX 2080 Super. So I think uh, RTX 2080 Super is uh, uh, kumbaga itatabi na natin sa pag-uusapan natin kasi if you will be going for an uh, Ryzen 7 3700X, I think the pinaka bang for the buck or price to performance or practical na budget range lang talaga is 70K to 80K plus. Going beyond that, sabi ko nga kanina, you should go for the Ryzen 9. Tingnan mo na lang, baka konti lang yung idadagdag mo for the other components to be uh, good with the Ryzen 9. Eh, mas maganda pa yung kakalabasan. And then also, I recommend na mag-upgrade sa 32GB na RAM 
kung uh, very professional na or very serious na yung mga ginagawa natin in terms of 3D rendering at saka syempre sa video editing din in terms of multitasking. And then for the power supply, si Sonic uh, 850 watts, naka-promo ngayon, 5,900 more or less, I think, for almost all of these stores. Uh, kung wala mang promo, then uh, you may avail that at a 6K plus. So I think one of the bang for the buck power supply in the market na pwede nyong kunin yung si Sonic 850 watts Focus Plus. And then for the storage, uh, a data NVMe SSD and 2 terabyte hard drive. So for the further details ng ating PC build, you may check below yung mga options with this kind of setup. Meron tayong option A to C from RX 5700 XT, RTX 2070 Super, and 2080 Super pricing para magkaroon kayo ng guide what to build this year, 2020. Okay, so let's proceed with the giveaways. Simple lang po mga kaibigan. Ang gagawin lang po natin, like this video and of course, share it on your social media accounts. Subscribe on our channel and then of course, comment down below any greetings. Siyempre, marami tayong napag-usapan this year and natutunan. So, let's greet everybody else na natuto at uh, na-inform in terms of uh, products or updated components sa ating industriya. And sa mga kasamahan natin, well, congrats. Salamat at uh, tumataba po ang aking puso na naririnig at nababasa na nakapag-build na ako ng ganito and I base it on your video. Uh, ganun, marami, marami akong uh, mga nababasa and uh, I'm so happy na marami tayong natutulungan. And uh, of course, hindi lang po ako yung nakakatulong kasi may mga comment section na kumbaga doon kayo nag interact nakapag-usap-usap na eto malito, dapat eto gawin mo, dapat yan ang gawin mo. Kumbaga may mga nagko-comment na yung PC build ko ba na ganito, itong components ba na to, okay ba? And then somebody else will uh, give a reply. So ayun, nakapagtulungan talaga tayo on the comment section. So napaka-importante ng comment section when there is a very uh, healthy interaction din sa bawat isa sa atin. And syempre, uh, I always try my best na makapag-reply sa lahat ng comments. Like and share on your Facebook social media accounts. Comment and subscribe. And then for the shoutouts, shoutouts kay Forth Lopez. Salamat sa pagbibigay ng feedback sa ating Facebook page. Joe Saking. Kalaman, salamat sa pag-drop by sa ating channel. Sobrang laki na ng channel ni Kalaman, nasa 1M uh, mahigit na. So sa mga mahilig po dyan sa mga kwento or uh, mga kakaiba or may kababalaghang kwento, Kalaman is one of the go-to channel. Ginaya ko po siya sa isang video. I tried to uh, imitate dung yung, yung intro niya. I think in terms of the topic na paano mag-overclock. So dun ko po siya ginaya. Yung pinaka-lately lang na upload ko po. And then kay Vince Campanilla, Friends Gaming, Jomari Gaming, Doggy Gaming, Bebeb Esports. Dami nito. Panay, uh, I think, mga streamers sina sir. Arvin Joseph Maligalig. Oh, kompletong kompleto yung pangalan ni sir. Ha? Arvin Joseph Maligalig, Sean, Kimpang, Art Gear TV, Yakan Gamers, Aesthetically Mercury, Brian So from Dubai. Ayun. Uh, greetings po sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin dyan sa Dubai Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays Jason Dizon, Viper Licious, Glenzy, Hajime Takatsu, CMT Philippines e, Kumpanya pa <laughs> I think channel ng company nila to <laughs> Eugene Garcia, Cheng Federico, Jasper Gaming, Carl Jimenez, Andare Kitsu, Mark Kevin Ison Mark M. Nays, Phoenix Gaming, Renier Dan Padilla. Renier Dan Padilla is, uh, I think, the manager of uh, Asianic Computers sa mga SM malls. Mark M. Nays, Phoenix Gaming, uh, Dabby Skywalker, Kuya Yang, Daryl Jade Elbore, Eric Jude Mina, SF Flores, China Azalea, Lee Agustin, Bernard Magtibay, China Azal Azalia. Siya lang bukod tangi, may female, uh, female na nagpa-shoutout. So, ayun po, sa mga hindi ko po na i-shoutouts, ayun, comment na lang din po ulit kayo dyan. Um, hindi ko po lahat mapagbibigyan, pero in the next uh, few videos or uploads, ayun, masasama at masasama ko din po kayo sa ating shoutouts. So, that's it mga kaibigan and thank you Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, and then of course, enjoy and have fun.